Thank you. Nice to be here. Um, I'm Rick Ahrens. I'm the CTO of uh, Ajax.org. And um, uh, as Ajax.org, uh, we've been working since 2005 on open source UI technology in the browser, JavaScript UI frameworks. Um, and that stuff looked something like this. It's really UI framework with trees and buttons and all that kind of stuff. So um, what we did was in the uh, uh, beginning of 2010, uh, we pivoted the company and uh, we focused everything on the next step in tooling, putting the entire development environment in the browser. Um, we're a team of, uh, of 15 people dedicated developers. Everybody's now working hard on, on Cloud9 and Ace, uh, the editor. And um, to show you a little bit, so, so many tabs. Everything um, you see from Cloud9 and the editor you can get from GitHub. So ajax.org slash Cloud9. Uh, it's a local version that you can pull in and play with. Um, we currently support Node.js development, so um, that's what you can use it for right now. The online version is what we're working on now. We're in closed beta. It looks uh, like this, run.cloud9ide.com, and it has a very tight Git integration. You have a Git project, you want to edit it online or work on it in your browser. You can go to this URL, put your Git URL in the box and uh, it'll fork the project to, uh, to our servers. Um, I have two already forked here. I'm going to show you the uh, Node chat demo, which is a very basic demo that Ryan made for Node, um, and do a little hello world here. So if you click on, uh, on the project, it essentially opens up the IDE. Um, it's, it's very familiar looking. You have a file tree on the side, code editor, console, menus. It looks very much like the IDE that uh, you might use or might not use. Um, and um, I think one of the most important parts here is the editor. Um, this is a full DOM-based editor uh, with um, really, really good performance. So let's uh, see. I can open a file here probably. Uh, I can show you how fast it works by just copying some text. You can see that it can quite readily deal with thousands of lines of code in your browser. This is of course uh, very important if you want to have a good experience. Uh, the editor is a separate component. It's called Ace. It has its own um, website as well, uh, ace.ajax.org. Um, the ACE project is uh, uh, now the successor of uh, Skywriter and Bespin, and uh, we've joined with Mozilla to create the coolest and best code editor on the web. Um, this project is really taking off. A lot of people are adding um, syntax highlighting, uh, debugging, all sorts of little language uh, tweaks to it. Or um, Iraqli here is uh, doing uh, Vim support so that everybody who is used to Vim uh, will not trip over their fingers and happily use it. So all that stuff is really cool, but it's also essential if you're a developer and you want to get the uh, proper feedback from your IDE and have a fast um, environment. Now, I'm not sure everybody here is aware of Node.js. Node.js is actually um, a very simple concept. It's asynchronous I.O. based on V8 uh, uh, JavaScript engine. So. Um, this is, for instance, the Node.js Hello World. It's very, very simple. It shows you, it creates an HTTP server, it waits for a request, and then uh, throws back a message. Now, in Cloud9, you can um, run and debug Node.js code. So I'm now going to start uh, the debug session on this uh, project. As you can see, in the console, we have uh, the console output that is running on the server. So this is a JavaScript process that's now running on the server. Um, and I can open uh, the application, which says Hello World. Now, let's put a breakpoint here and see if we can refresh this. Right, so it's not refreshing. Just hit the breakpoint. Um, 
the debugging uh, support in Cloud9 currently uh, does server-side Node.js, but a lot of people are working on uh, Ruby support, uh, looking at Java, Python, um, and also debugging the browser itself, which is, uh, for Chrome, currently uh, fairly easy because it has the same debugging protocol as V8, um, but for the others, there's uh, still a bit of bridge work to do. So now I hit a breakpoint, and um, I can do stuff, like I can execute uh, in-context code, just like you're used to from if you're using Visual Studio. Probably here not, but... <laughs> you can do uh, in-context code. So here is the message variable. It says, hello world. I can assign something, hello fuzzdem, to it. All right, so now you would actually expect that if I press play, that my browser here would have uh, changed state. So this shows that you can debug um, a Node.js server with full state um, in Cloud9. So this is only uh, step one, uh, great code editor, um, debugging of Node. And um, we've only been in beta a couple of weeks. I already have more than 3,000 people signed up, so it's, uh, it's going really quickly. And uh, there's a lot of good feedback uh, coming from the community and people adding stuff to this IDE because um, this is not, you know, we love to work in it. We make Cloud9 in, in Cloud9, but in the end, it's a developer tool that uh, should be your own. It's written in JavaScript, so you can modify it in JavaScript. This is something that is a very basic premise, but is very powerful. Um, for instance, uh, I don't have it in this, in this demo. It's not uh, on. Um, it's not in Cloud9 yet. But I've seen that they've added um, uh, real-time JavaScript checking using uh, Uglify JS and um, Narcissus running in a background worker. So you can have as you type nice colored flags that tell you, hey, you're missing a. Well, thank you. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you're missing um, um, you're missing semicolons or you know you're missing curlies or if you turn on the settings too high it will whine about anything but um, it helps you type dynamic languages dynamic code because um, these are not compiled so your compiler will not complain about something missing or something being wrong. So I think the next step for dynamic languages is that the tooling comes forward and assists you as developers in um, pointing out errors a lot earlier in the development process. So those are things that we're working on. Um, of course, uh, there's the debugger. Here you can s also peek into Node itself. Uh, Node.js has um, almost all of the stack written in JavaScript uh, with only a couple of hooks in C for the lower level access. So as you can see, as we end up in here in our code, there's actually a whole stack uh, of JavaScript already running in Node.js. And um, the nice thing about um, the V8 debug protocol is that you can peer into all the code that's running, even though these JavaScript files are not even on a file system. They're compiled into Node.js itself, um, which is really nice. So, uh, yeah, here's our console. Because it is a Git project, the most basic way of interacting with Git is on the command line. Um, I can now run uh, Git commands here on my workspace. Actually, it's a small Unix process. You can just uh, move around. Um, but this is an essential part of Cloud9 as well, so you can um, interact with uh, your files. Also, a really cool addition from uh, Mozilla is uh, the command processor, which will also uh, arrive in Cloud9 soon. Um, and that's actually a type-based command uh, autocomplete. So if I type git, then I'd get a nice, well, I can, I can see that, let's see, right, git is not in the list, but um, it will show a very nice uh, type system, so you can navigate your commands very quickly. Um, I didn't exactly time this, so I think I'm almost through. Um, so all this stuff is open source and you can play with it. You can uh, uh, apply for the, uh, for the beta on uh, run.cloud9ide.com and play around with it online. Um, or you can uh, um, work on the editor component, which is Ace, which has a different repo also here. 
Um, and I invite everybody to join, play with it, and uh, see what you want it to be and uh, join in the process. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.